Right, uh, we are here and we are looking at uh, Venn diagrams. Venn diagrams are important to us. And we're looking at the three sets, A, uh, B, and C. Set A contains the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. B contains the elements 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, C contains the elements 7, 8. Want to find A intersection, B intersection, C, A union B, A intersection B, A minus B, B minus A. Symmetric difference of A and B, symmetric difference of A, B, and C. There are a couple of things that are critically important here for us. But first things first, we analyze the Venn diagrams, but also we look at the fact that the set A consists of the elements uh, 1, 2, 3, up to 7. Okay? So, but uh, we need to first uh, look also at the intersection. Um, right, for example, C consists of the elements 7 and 8. But the elements 7 and 8 are also in B. 7 and 8 are also in B. But 7 and 8 are also in C. So they're in the intersection of uh, A, B, and C. Right. And so, moreover, we have that 5, 6, and 7 are in A, are also in B but seven is also in C, right? So we have five, six, five, six, seven are in A and B specifically, but seven, eight, yeah, in B and C. But seven is in all of them, it's in A, it's in B, it's in C, okay? So we have that. But there is one, two, three, four, so one, two, three, and four are in A. So A contains one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. B contains five, six, seven, and eight, and C contains seven and eight. Okay. Um, so now we continue to analyze this. Right, so what do we get? What do we want right now? We want to solve these problems and we start. Want to first find A intersection B intersection C. Right, so to find A intersection B intersection C, we already know that this one is one, two, three, four. This one is five, six, seven, and eight. And we want to find A intersection B intersection C where they all overlap. And clearly that intersection consists of the element seven. It's the set that contains the element seven. And this set has a specific name. It's called the singleton. Singleton. Next. A union B. Want to find A union B. But you already know this one is one, two, three, four. And this one is, uh, okay, let's write a bit clearly here and just separate this so that so if anybody can just uh, be able to understand. So we have one, two, three, and four. Um, we have five, six, uh, and seven together with eight. Like this. So if we need uh, A union B, right, A union B. A union B now has the elements in A or B, of both sets, and uh, now we need to just remember that A has the elements one, two, three, four, five, six, seven union B with, with the elements uh, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, A union B right now is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A, so A union B now contains all these elements one, two, three, and everything else that, that, that is there. Okay, so A union B contains these elements there. Okay, we noted that. Next question. Right. Next question, because we've already found A union B, and uh, now we need to find A intersection B. Right, we've already found A union B, so we find now A intersection B. At this point, we want A intersection B, but uh, we need to fill this here, which is one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Now you need A intersection B. So A intersection B right now will contain what? The elements that are in both A and B simultaneously. So the elements that in both A and B simultaneously would become the elements what? They are these here. So now A intersection B therefore has the elements five, six, and seven. Okay, that is A intersection B. Next, we want to find A minus B, but let us first uh, complete this one. One, two, three, four, and we have five, six, seven, and eight. And we want to find uh, A minus B. Right, so in other words, right now we're saying from A, remove B. If from A you remove B, these can be seen in many ways. You can also see it as A intersection B. A intersection B complement is the same as A minus B. Right, so, but uh, from A, if you remove B, you are left with one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Like this. <laughs> Right, so if you have the these two sets A and B, and from A you remove B, you are left with one, two, three, four. But you can also look at it as A intersection B complement, meaning we have A, that is the elements one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Intersection B complement, which is five, six, seven, eight, and that is the complement of B. What is the complement of B? Okay. What is the complement of B? Right. So the complement of B has everything else that is not in B, which means we have one, two, three, four. Right. One, two, three, four. And that is the complement. So if you intersect these, you have one, two, three, four. Right. So the intersection therefore consists of one, two, three, four. All right, so yeah, that's what we have. That's what we have. Okay, now, the couple of things then that are very, very important for us. Okay, so, but obviously we saw that A minus B is uh, the set that has one, two, three, and four, but also here, one, two, three, and four. Okay, let's look at B minus C. Now, the couple of things that are important. So we have one, two, three, four. And then we have five, six, seven, eight. Right, so at this point then, you have uh, the set B, okay? So from the set B, you remove A. Right, and obviously from the set B, this one, you remove A, you're only left with what, eight? Only left with the set that contains the element eight, but you can say, um, you can use the notation, um, b minus a, b intersection a complement. What is the set b? Okay, we saw from the beginning, uh, at the beginning, that the set b contains the elements five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that is the set b intersection a complement. The complement of A has everything else that is not in A, so yeah, we can just put eight here. And therefore, the intersection of these two sets uh, contains eight, the element eight. So yeah, so we have this exactly. Next, we have B minus A. Right, so now we have the symmetric difference of A and B. Right, so the symmetric difference of A and B consists of the elements one, two, three, four, and then we have five, six, seven, eight. Um, right, so in the end then, we want to find the symmetric difference of A and B. By definition, the symmetric difference is A minus B union B minus A. Okay, that is the 
the symmetric difference of the two sets. Okay, so if you have A minus B, and then now you have B minus A. This is B, from B you remove A. So yeah, so this is what you're gonna have. And these uh, the upset that we've shaded, where we're saying from A, remove B. And then you are left with the shaded part. From B, you remove A, then you're left with the, the shaded part. So now, which me, which me then means uh, we're interested in the union. So the union is this or that. So it's gonna consist of those elements there. So the couple of things obviously, but um, we can remember that A minus B, we got it already. Because if from A, you remove B, you're left with one, two, three, four. Um, right, one, two, three, four. Just uh, write that one down. So yeah, with one, two, three, four. That is uh, from A you remove B. If from B you remove A, you're left with eight. Okay, and then now you take the union, which is one, two, three, four, eight, like this. Okay, that's what we have here. So that is the symmetric difference of. A and B. But now, if you look at the symmetric difference of A and B, you can just take the elements that are in the shaded parts of the diagram, of the Venn diagram. So at this point, uh, you have, so yeah, this diagram, once again, uh, we need to remember that is called the Venn. It's called the Venn diagram. Okay, so it's a very important diagram. So at this point, the symmetric difference of A and B, therefore, would consist of the elements that are in the shaded parts, one, two, three, and four, together with eight. Okay, so yeah, just take note of that. Next, we're looking now at the symmetric difference of A, B, and C together. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, at this point then, um, what then do we have? Right, we actually need to examine what this means. Okay, first and foremost, the symmetric difference itself is, uh, if you write it like this, it is the same as uh, the symmetric difference of B and C like this. So the symmetric difference itself is what? It's, uh, it's associative. You say it is associative. So it is an associative binary operation. So it is associative. Just uh, write the word associative here. Okay. So we have uh, the word associative. And then now let us find this and evaluate this carefully. Okay. So in other words, the symmetric difference now of, uh, B and C, of, of A, B, and C, we're going to look at it like this. Okay, it is the same as the symmetric difference of A and B. You subtract C from it. Union. The symmetric difference of C uh, minus, uh, yeah. Well, the symmetric difference of A and B minus C, union C minus the symmetric difference of A and B. Okay, that's what you write like this. Now, if we take the symmetric difference of a and B, we subtract C from it. Union C minus a symmetric difference of A, of A and B. Okay, first, things first. Let's look at the symmetric difference of A and B. We've already seen that. And then we subtract C from it. Okay, so it was, it will be this. Symmetric difference of A and B. Well, the symmetric, we're subtracting C from it. But union, C minus the symmetric difference of A and B. So if you take C and you, you remove the symmetric difference of A and B, then you're going to have um, exactly uh, this section here. Right. So if we take C and uh, we remove the symmetric difference of A and B, you're going to be left with this section here. But also, you're going to be left with this section here. Okay? So the question then becomes, what is the result? Okay, let's look at the symmetric difference of A and B minus C. 
Okay, here's the symmetric difference of NB, which is the shaded part. So we can go up to here. Then we remove C from it. So we're going to be left with what? We're going to be left with one, two, three, four. We're going to be left with one, two, three, four. Okay. Just take note of that. Union. From C, from the set C, remove the symmetric difference of A and B. So you're going to be removing this, you're going to be removing that, and therefore you're going to be left with what? Right. If from C we remove the symmetric difference um, of, uh, of A and B, you, you're going to be actually from C, you're going to remove this part, you're going to be removing this part, but this actually is going to be left out, seven. Okay. And therefore, now this means that you have one, two, three, four, seven. Okay, so this means that the symmetric difference of A, B, and C, right, which means therefore the symmetric difference of A, B, and C is what? Is one, two, three, four, seven. Okay, so this is the symmetric difference of, um, of A, B, and C all together. Okay, so yeah, we're done um, with that. So now, take note of the things we've done. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, yeah, this concludes our discussion on uh, actually the notion of the Venn diagram and the symmetric differences. And so, yeah, we are most certainly very, very excited that we have been able to make make much headway. Right, yeah, so thanks everybody for watching and for joining us and a very, very goodbye to you.